We live in a globalised world of the nation state, international trade and the rapid exchange of ideas. But cast your mind back four and a half thousand years ago to the time of the Giza pyramids. During this period, Egypt was the only territorial state in the whole of the eastern Mediterranean region. It was ruled by kings who were considered both divine and mortal. Part of their role, part of the ideology of kingship, involved maintaining the cosmic order or the concept of Ma'at, which involved protecting Egypt from hostile forces beyond its borders. As a result, foreigners were considered as hostile to be always subjugated by the might of Egypt's pharaoh. But archaeological and textual evidence tells us that Egypt was very active both in trade relations, diplomacy and even military activity. The foundation of this trade was the acquisition of Lebanese cedar, a prized timber throughout the Mediterranean in ancient times which the Egyptians used for shipbuilding, construction and other things. And over time they developed a very strong relationship with the city of Byblos on the Lebanese coast, from which they also acquired metals, people, tree resins and many other status luxuries. Over time, these state trading missions acquired an almost mythical status and part of the reason for that was because they demonstrated the king's capacity to project his power and by extension the power of Egypt itself to distant foreign lands. That said, elsewhere in the region, the nature and extent of Egypt's relations still remain to be understood. Now there aren't many historical texts for this period, so we have to go to other forms of evidence to try and understand the nature of these relations. And this is where archaeological science can play a role because we can look at the raw materials that Egypt obtained and understand where they came from through scientific analysis. We can look at the pottery, we can look at the contents of the pottery, we can look at the metals to understand their origins. So why is this important? Well, through the activity of Egypt as the first territorial state entity in the region, we can understand the impact of economic interests, statecraft, responses to climate change and even the movement of people on early communities. Through this interaction, it enables us to understand the drivers of social change and the emergence of social complexity. Register now for the Zoom conference Egypt in the Mediterranean World at www.mq.edu.au and search Cache Events to secure your place. Registration is free.